You don't know how little you matter until you're all alone. Product of a broken home and the recycle story it came with. My mom tells me I don't take care of myself. She's right. There are days when rage be the only tongue I can call my own. Days where I can't remember the last embrace of my father's self-care is a language I'm still learning. And my life isn't a scratching record. Meant to repeat the same tired tune I find myself trapped in, but I'm a man whose masculinity is as fragile as the ego I built it on. That must mean that I'm a casket with a scratched ceiling. My masculinity is a bad religion. Brought me to my knees and asked me why I fell in the first place, meaning I gave it my devotion and it hung me from the same cross I thought would bring me salvation. My resurrection won't be as triumphant as the one on the third day, but it'll be me waking up to the second verse of Pink Matter. See, I learned it all from Frank Ocean. Learned you take as much time as you need to become who you need to be. We all grow at our own pace. It might take four plus years to drop the damn album, but <laughs> we'll get there. I read his open letter. Saw how coming out cleansed his spirit. I saw his bare bones and the potency of his penmanship. It almost sounded like me. Now, I couldn't truly relate to the story, our experiences be different, but I've longed for that same catharsis because I never had that, you know? I've always been taught I was the man of the house, taught to take care of everyone and then myself. You try not to show the broken, so you learn to numb the pain. Novocaine did it the best, the Frank Ocean song, not actual Novocaine, where was I? Something about numbing pain and how my fist numbed every time I acquainted them with the walls, I get lost in the thrill of it all. I let it linger, it's the only way I've ever remembered that I am my father's son. It's the only sliver of manhood he ever left me with. See, the men in my family don't really get it like that, but Frank does. See, the men in my family are children of the sun with obsidian hearts, meaning they're black and beautiful, but cold and hard to crack. I ain't never seen my father cry. Only seen my brother cry once. I ain't cried since death made my grandfather past tense. Frank Ocean has that project, right? Boys don't cry. But I'm learning that tears tear away the turmoil of any trauma, and because of that, I'm making peace with my soul. Because of that, I'm praying for peace of mind to rain from the sky like man I Guess what I'm trying to say is Frank Ocean taught me how to love myself. Taught me to take my time. Taught me that not being okay is okay because I never looked at myself as anything more than a burden. Always thought myself to be akin to Atlas, holding up the weight of the world on strained shoulders and scraped knees. I've reprised my desire to do it solo. <laughs> and I'm learning to take care of myself in a way that won't worry my mama. All while turning my casket scratch ceiling into an open door, I'm learning that this is a sweet life. That I'd rather chip my pride than lose my mind out here. It wasn't Frank Ocean that I thought would help me experience this epiphany. Because in all honesty, I'm used to being closed off, yeah. And used to being raw. Now you are and I am madly involved, madly involved.